so very good morning my dear students today we will discuss the topic the topic is statically indeterminate system so statically indeterminate system uh, where we will find this statically indeterminate system we will find this statically indeterminate system in case of composite bar or compound bar so first of all we should know what is statically indeterminate system now if a system is composed of different material okay if a system is composed of different material so in such cases the unknown force you cannot find out by using simple uh, principle of statics okay we cannot find out the unknown force by considering the principle of statics okay so such system is known as statically indeterminate system so in such cases we have to find out the unknown forces by considering some additional equation okay so this additional equations or this supplement that will be supplement to the uh, that supplement is added with the principle of statics so this uh, additional information how to find out we have to find out by considering the deformation of the system deformation of this particular object of the system so this equation which we can find out by deformation of the system this equation is known as compatibility equation okay so compatibility equation compatibility equation we can find out in case of composite bar or compound bar so composite bar or compound bar is an example of statically indeterminate system now what is composite bar or the compound bar a composite bar is made up of more than one material maybe two three four different types of material so such bar is known as composite bar if a bar is composed of more than one material this bar is known as composite bar or the compound bar now suppose in the composite bar or compound bar so the bar is made up of two materials here both end is fixed now that is made up of one material and that is made up of another material so two materials is here maybe one suppose a steel a pipe inside a copper tube okay so total load you can see while the both in the fixed the total load will be shared by both this material and this material this bar and this bar suppose load shared by this is p1 and load shared by this material is p2 suppose one is steel another is copper so two additional information that is one is considering equilibrium equation so equilibrium equilibrium equation okay one is equilibrium equation equilibrium equation is load shared by steel and copper load shared load is p1 and p2 that is equal to the total load so total load is the summation of load shared by both material so here from the equilibrium equation we you know that is p is equal to p1 plus p2 that is equilibrium equation another equation that is compatibility equation okay so compatibility equation i will to find out so we know that deformation here as it is a fixed both end and load is shared by load is p which is shared by both materials so in such cases deformation of the both bar 
deformation of the bar steel and the copper both will remain same so you know del l is equal to cl by a e okay so uh, in the previous class i have shown this uh, from hooke's law we have find out this deform uh, deformation or the elongation of the bar so again i am discussing suppose stress p by a load per unit area and strain del l by l so hooke's law we know hooke's law within a strict limit stress proportional to strain so sigma is equal to e into e stress proportional to strain so e is equal to sigma by e so sigma by sigma is equal to p by a and strain is equal to del l by l so from there we can find out that del l is equal to p into l by a into e so here del l is equal to p l by a e so here you can see deformation of the bar both will be equal so p l by a e p l by a e now you can see deformation of the bar 1 q1 length is remain same and area cross sectional area a1 your modulus both will be different so p1 l a1 e that for other material p2 l same a2 cross sectional area change e2 okay now we will find out the different forces so we can see p1 is equal to so p1 is equal to p2 l into a1 q1 divided by a2 e2 into l okay so p1 that p1 is equal to this into this p2 into l a1 e1 divided by l into a2 e okay so we have got the value of p1 next put the value of p1 in that equation equilibrium equation so p is equal to p1 is equal to p2 l into a1 e e1 divided by a2 e2 into l now you can see here l has cancelled so it will be p2 p2 a1 e1 by a2 e2 so p2 will be p1 plus p2 plus p2 so plus p2 so p2 is equal to or you can say p2 a1 e1 plus p2 a2 e2 divided by a2 e2 okay so so p is equal to you can take p2 common a1 e1 plus a2 e2 divided by a1 uh, a2 e2 so p2 is equal to p into a2 e2 divided by a1 e1 plus a2 e2 okay so you can see p2 is equal to p2 a2 e2 divided by a1 e1 
plus air to E2. So we can find out, suppose you know this load, we know the cross sectional area I1, we know cross sectional area A2, we know young modulus E1, young modulus E2, so we can find out the value of P2. So once you know the P2, then put the value of P2 here. So P1 is equal to P minus P2. Simply we can find out the different force on this bar is made up of two or more than two different materials okay so hope you have understood so from this uh, statically that in determinate system or the composite bar we will solve one problem okay we will share this uh, problems and you can check and if you find out any difficulties then you can ask me okay Thank you.